great pass. What a oh, catch! Oh, oh, oh. oh, goodness. What an amazing catch from Vicky McFarlane. The highlight reel. Never say never. Say yes to the Jets. That was fantastic. Oh, Sam can make it up for home. Misses 400 herself. 13 strikeouts for Gabby Snyder in one of the best pitching performances we've seen this season. What oh. a fantastic grab by Emma Burridge. Quads the ladder and breaks it down. Round this up the middle, that's going to score a run. Oh, it scored two. Beam to left field, this is back, and this one is gone. It's magic from Baslin. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to West Beach Parks, the home of softball, South Australia. And uh, with me today, uh, of course, this game is a, going to be a cracker. You would think so. It's between the third base team, Stern, and the fourth base team, Port Adelaide. Uh, previous results for the day, in the first game between the fifth and sixth place teams, it was Hills, the victor, two runs to nil. And uh, in the game between top and second at that stage, it was West Torrens playing Walkerville and Walkerville with the winners 3-0. And it's with great pleasure I welcome their pitcher from that, the, one of our American imports, Miss Dressy Dresswitch. That's not an easy name to say, Dressy. <laughs> nah. Perhaps while you're here, you can get your name changed by Depol. Possibly. Yes. There we go. That way I can stay here a little bit longer and play so, more softball. Yeah, so welcome to you. We'll Thank talk you for about you me. and where you've come from. Everyone knows you've come from a land not down under. Not uh, down under. No, and so uh, uh, we welcome all you, your input today. And then at the end of the second innings, we'll be presenting the junior player of the week, which is always a nice highlight. Yeah, absolutely. And as I said to you, today was an interesting day to start with because it was one versus two, mm -hmm. three versus four, five versus six, and number seven, team Glenelg, had the bye. Had the bye. Big and I week. don't know how many times that would happen in innings. Not very often, I'd say. I'll just go around and uh, identify the umpires for this game. On plate, it's uh, Damien Baby Blue McCauley. At first base, it's Ian, only one shade of grey. And at third base, it's Michael, the flex Bendel. Yeah, sounds good. Now, this is a really big game right here. Um, excited to watch this one, see how this one unfolds. Looks like we might already be having it. So, what is your prediction on this game tonight, Lee? Uh, what are you thinking? I, well, I think uh, I'm going... Uh, it's a tough one. Yes, yeah, a tough one, I think. Let's let's make it... 3-all. I was thinking 2-all, yeah. but I'm going 3-all. You're going to go 3? I can't uh, pick a winner in this one, so... <laughs> so, don't hold that against me, Jess. There you go, it's all right. Two very talented teams um, in different ways, though. Um, Certainly. You like to go around the field for the Magpies? Yeah, while absolutely. In? So for Port Adelaide tonight, uh, pitching tonight, as always, is Katie Sutherland Finch, uh, nicknamed Bulldog. She's throwing to Abby Mossman behind the plate. First base, we have Emily Catuzzo with Jess Neves at second. Good old Vicky McFarlane, my other, another American, is at shortstop tonight. And if you haven't watched her mic'd up video, that Space Quake has done. That was an excellent little video. Everyone should check that out. Uh, to her right, you have Ellie, Ella Forrester um, with Charlie. Uh, Charlie's Callahan. Callahan. Yep, Gemma Lettons right. in center field and Rita Myers in right. So a strong defense tonight for Port Adelaide. So. And with the Port Adelaide side, Talia George is batting DP for the catcher, Abby Mossman, in this game. All right. First hitter, Ada Caruana. Here's a girl with wheels. Been playing a while, very good player. Dangerous player to lead off. Great lead off here for start. Let's see what she does. Yeah. First one's in the dirt. Gets away a little bit. 
I think since Christmas, I thought uh, Katie's uh, pitching in the last game against Seacom was as good as I've seen her pitch. I yeah. reckon that was really good. She was in complete control. That one's high this time for ball two. So good hitting position for Ada. Get those legs running. She can make contact. Yeah, and that's the thing with the Sturt lineup is they're very quick, so they just kind of tap the ball and take it, get the bases. It's uh, another miss there for Katie, so she mm -hmm. goes behind 3 0 here. Well, another great hitting position here. Absolutely. Pitcher must, as you know, quality <laughs> pitcher like yourself, you have to throw one in there. Yes, you do. Like that. So three and one on Ida. That sun's pretty tricky this time of day. Yes, it is. Diamond, diamond one here. Oh, they hit to Jess Neves at second, who easily gets it over for the first out of the of the game here. And uh, that's the way to get Ada out if you can. Jam her up, make her hit the ball to your first or second base player, make it and, quick. You, and it becomes a race in two. Well, well handled. Now it's Belle White. She's up the order here a bit. Morgan looking for balance in the side. Very experienced batter here. Belle is an Aussie Australia. She got named, I believe. This week, she got yes. named to softball Australia's team, which is awesome Fantastic. for her. So and it's, congratulations, it's, it's Belle. It's no surprise at all. Not at all. She's been playing at the highest level for a long time now. Yes. One's in the dirt, well handled by Abby Mossman. Mossman, I might pay a tribute to Abby Mossman here. She has come in and taken over the catching position. A, to a, catch, a pitcher like Katie Southern Finch, that's no mean feat. No, it is not. She's behind again here, 3 0. So I think she's just settling in a little bit. Um, we'll see what she does with a batter well, like Bell. I think if this is over the middle, Bell is going to tee off on it. That's the thing. Uh, it's a big hitter like Bell. You don't want to be too care you know, too safe mm. and just throw it down the middle. That's the one. Well, it's identical, isn't it? It's, it's percentages play yep. there. And we have the same scenario with Ada. Yep. Well, uh, good nice judgment. pitch there, but Bell holds back as she gets a first walk of the game here. And that brings in first base, uh, Pippa Adkins, who's made the Australian under-19 team, and that's fantastic, isn't yes, it? Yes, she has. Al along with Georgia Hood and Maddie Scott. Three talented players right there. Because Pippa is an aw awesome lefty, um, and same thing, she's quick. So yes. you got to do the same thing you do with Ada and make sure you keep the ball on the ground and uh, get her be quick there. Yes, uh, but uh, she's she's a very dangerous batter because she's a natural left hander. So yes. when she pulls, it goes hard. Count one and one here. Nice pitch. Yes, there's no half measures with Pippa. It's, you know, I'm going to, if we're going for it, I'm going to give it a decent Absolutely. crack. Absolutely. That is a strikeout, but Bell White takes off for second and is safe at second base on a steal there. It was a good throw by Abby Mossman behind the plate, but um, Bell White took advantage of the strikeout there and moved herself over. Yeah, so. smart heads up running by Bell then. She knew exactly what the situation was. So young catcher, they're going to test your arm out all the time. And a game like this too, you got to take advantage of anything that you can. Um, oh, and there we go, pass ball, ball gets away from Mossman a little bit and Bell stands up at third. So well, there's his danger already now because it's Maddie. Cameron, who can hit the ball as far and as hard as anybody <laughs> in this competition. And there's her mate, Bill, camped at first. Yes, Maddie is quite a hitter. Um, you definitely want to be careful when you pitch to her. Um, powerful hitter. She really adds a lot of strength to the ball when she makes that contact. Foul ball down the third baseline here. 
see if she can get this run in for her teammate Bell. The on deck hitter is Sarah Tonkin, another one that can hit the ball hard, followed by Jordan Lee and Rachel Tonkin. Yeah, lineup doesn't doesn't get easier. No, they need to <laughs> shut Maddie down, either Walker or shut her down. Yep. Oh, that's quite a piece. That's hit deep into the left. And it goes to the fence. Maddie's going for three. Oh, she holds up. What a shot. Um, now we'll see what Sturt does tonight. I'm going to go around the lineup for Sturt there. Jess? Yes. Um, Jasmine Stranglung. How do you pronounce Stranglung. Stranglung. All right, so pitching tonight for Sturt is Jasmine Stranglung. Throw in a Sarah Tonkins behind the plate. Pippa Atkins, our lefty first baseman, uh, with Rachel Tonkin at second. Bell White, experienced shortstop. Uh, Jesse Keach at third. Then around the outfield, left field, we have Jordan Lee, Maddie Cameron in center, and Ada Karana in right field. Karana, so. uh, this is a very strong looking side. This is, this mm. is. And they got off to a great start. Yes. Jasmine, we haven't seen for a while. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with her. No, no, well, she's, she's a steady pitcher. Okay. We'll see how steady she is. Yes. When the bats started cracking. <laughs> well, she's got a strong defense behind her. Um, yes. And Bill White at shortstop. You just try and, when you're batting, thinking, throw me something <laughs> outside so I don't have to bring her into play. It's true. So underway here, Vicki McFarland. Ireland leading off here tonight for Port Adelaide in her usual leadoff spot and definitely a batter that you want to keep off the bases. Yeah, I think she is the most dangerous uh, base runner Absolutely. there is playing, I think, without no discredit to any of the other fleet-footed people, but she's not only fast, she's smart as well. Yeah, and that's the thing with Vicky is you put her on to first, she gets on to first and she will find a way to get mm. around to third. And so. I'm glad to see that uh, Butch Sims has brought up Katie Sutherland Finch up to the fourth batting position. <laughs> you like that? We have a time out here. We have Coach Butch Sims talking to the home head, uh, home plate umpire here. Damien, yes, and he's... Uh... Uh... Well, we can only guess or surmise what that was all about. Maybe he was saying somebody's in, in the third lineup that wasn't on the scorecard. Uh, yep. I don't know. I don't know. Just guessing. Could have seen something. Yep. Well, here's the big Mac attack about to start. <laughs> so good hitting count here. Two yep. balls, no strikes. I think Jazz is being smart. She doesn't really want to throw it into the zone, Vicky. Um, and Vicky's also being a good leadoff, seeing a lot of pitches. So. And the thing that impressed me mostly about her when she bats, she tracks the ball right back to the catcher. She tracks it to hitting position. Oh, <laughs> gonna need that, Vic. Thought she had an early bus up the first, but nah. no. <laughs> this counts now three and one. There we go, nice shot through the five, six hole, out to left field, Jordan Lee scoops that up, but she bobbles in and Vicky's gonna go into second. Oh, oh. wild throw. Vicky slides right into second base. And that's the thing with Vicky, it's a base hit, but she she sees the happening with the defense and takes that extra base. And straight away, the Magpies have their lead off in the scoring position. Yeah, so if you see here on the statewide super replay, you have Jordan Lee bobbles the ball a little bit and then overthrows uh, Rachel Tonkin a little bit at second there, hmm. but um, now you got Vicky on second and the bunt. Bunch, Jazz keeps that up, throws it over to first, but Vicky is standing on third. So well done by Talia George there. Team hitting right there. Yep. Get the bunt down, get playing, your runner over. Playing the percentages. There you go, that's all you need. And that brings up Rita Meyer. And this also brings Katie Sutherland Finch into the action <laughs> with a runner out there, providing Vicky's still there. Yeah. Rita might be able to get her in here. Foul ball. And I think it also takes the pressure off of uh, Rita Meyer, who's been in the bunting position a few times. Uh, but I don't think they'll play squeeze here, not so early in the game. 
They could, but I don't think so. Oh, oh look at really? that to go for the squeeze. Vicky's coming in. She slides in. And she's called safe at the plate. Excellent slide from Vicky McFarland there. What a lucky guess by some Woo. of us. <laughs> so you see here on the statewide super replay, excellent squeeze play. Jazz scoops that up, but big slide from Vicky. If you saw there, she just gets her hand in just a little bit. Here well, we go the again. Scores Better became angle. level all of a sudden, uh, didn't yep. they? Yeah, there we go. She kept that, she got that hand right on the back part of the plate. That's a tough play there, yep. especially with a runner like Vicky coming in. So it's leveled out at 1 1 here with the runner on first. Rita is standing on first quite comfortably now. Mainly because of two excellent bunts. Two excellent bunts. So the team hitting and executing when you need to. Yep. Counts now 1 and 1 for Katie Sutherland Finch. Center fielder Cameron Maddie is. Uh, shielding the sun out of her eyes here. So I think it's going to be a problem if it goes high. Yeah, it's definitely tough, tough to see. Um, you know, we played start the other night. We had to play Thursday. We had a Thursday game. Uh, yes, I remember it. And it was an 8 o'clock game, so the sun wasn't too bad, but down the one's tough at this time. So Katie's one ball, two strikes. Let's see what Jazz pitches her opponent here. Ball, steal. Ooh. Catcher Sarah talking guns that down to second to get Rita. Rita Meyer. It was a good slide, but great throw and a great tag yep. by Bell. Yeah. Statewide super replay. You see. judgment. Umpire Bendel was right on the spot. Uh, he was there. Quick tag by Bell. And you got ball four for Sutherland Finch. Next pitch, ball four. And uh, you could have had two out there. You could know, have had easy two. in the hind side. <laughs> it's easy. Now it's a first base player for Port today, yeah. Emily Catuso. Another good hitter. Oh, lost her feet a little bit there on that swing. <laughs> yes, I think so. so. We got two outs here in the bottom of the first. She shows the oh, little check swing, and that's going to be a little blooper right over Rachel Tonkin's head. Katie's going for third. Oh, pass ball at third, and Katie's going to come right into home standing. Well, I'm not quite sure whether that was to play right from the ball from, di from sort of uh, three quarters away back at right field by Ada because you're on a hiding the nothing. You got the hiding. Yep, a little run blooper, scores. a little bleeder right there. And you saw Ada chucks that to third trying to get Katie. Wild throw gets by Jesse Keach there and uh, score for Adelaide two. Dirt one. And now that brings up, is that Gemma? Latin, Gemma Latin. Gemma Latin. Easily handled by Pepper Adkins in foul territory for the third out, but Port came back hard with two of their own. Aggressive there. So you're still sitting, sitting with the three all? Still, still sticking you... with the three all, all yes, right. yes. I don't change halfway through. <laughs> oh, statewide super replay showing us Vicky's slide at home. Excellent squeeze play there by Port Adelaide. Rita squares up early, lays down that bunt. And Vicky is there. Isn't Look at that hand catches yeah, the back corner of the plate and the is. ball comes out. Isn't Excellent. it ironic? Now, Rita's had trouble, in fairness, putting the sacrifice bun in the play. But when you're called to do it in two strikes and you're playing the squeeze, it's a marvellous, same as calling the right thing, you know. Because yeah. now they're having the choice. You know, too much goes through. You overthink it and you overplay it. Yeah, but it's that time of year. Everyone's stepping up. Right before finals. Um, you know, you got to do what you got to do to win the game. So, very important bunts there. Um, but you saw the difference a little bit in the lineup with Maddie Cameron, you know, hitting the long ball and Port coming back with some, some short. Abby Mossman just threw the ball from the catching position, just in the trying to pick off throw practice, and and Vicky bowed out of it because she couldn't see because of the uh -huh. sun. Yeah, that sun's tough. Here's the top of the second starting, and it's left fielder Jordan Lee followed in by second base, 
Rachel Tonkin, and then we have Jenny Gray, the DP, and Jesse Keach, who's playing third base for the Falcons. It's also a note, if you guys can see on the camera, the, the way that the shade and the sun works, it's kind of hard to see the ball coming out of Katie's hand, yep. or any yep. pitcher's hand, because it's going from the sun into that shade. Um, adds an extra dimension to the pitch coming in. Yes, it does. And also out. Ball coming off the bat, it's probably a different reaction. Counts one and one here. Nice I tell you there. what, Abby Mossman's looking more confident every time I see it. That's like, yeah, she's a good little catcher back there, does well. Especially with the pace that Katie throws at um, and the spin that she gets on her ball, so. Yeah, she came over from Sturt. She's been a Sturt player for as long as I can remember and uh, just come over for opportunities, you know, and uh, now she's got one. Count two and two. Great pitch and a big swing there by Jordan Lee. Very aggressive. They swing hard, the Sturt girls, don't they? No matter their <laughs> age, they still swing hard, and when they make contact, it goes. Oh, it's true. Big swing and a miss. Strike three there for Katie Sutherland Finch. That's first of the game for her. Two. Oh, so that brings up Rachel Tonkin. Oh, that was her second strike out of the game there, so. See how she goes tonight. That strikeout counter. The Tonkin sisters offer a lot, don't they? Yes, In they the do. field and with the bat. got such a great upspin on her ball. So when she does bring it in, bring it low, um, you know, it really keeps the batters off balance. So she does well. There's that rise ball. Good well, hack there. Well, it's a change up that impresses me greatly because Excellent I've seen up. the odd pitcher or two <laughs> over the years and I cannot pick it from directly behind the catcher when it's coming. So She hides it very well. Her arm action is the same. Speed. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Katie scoops that up and tosses it over to Emily Cattuzo at first base for the second out of the inning. That brings in the DP, Jenny Gray. And Jenny Gray's batting has been the... Uh, hmm? I think we have Jazz hitting. That's Jasmine. Yep, okay. Jasmine's up in the box. So that's what they changed. Okay, so pretty we didn't know ourselves. <laughs> Last to know, you know? No. <laughs> Uh, we have pitcher versus pitcher here, and Katie's first ball gets up a little bit. <laughs> Goes behind one, one out. So I don't know much about Jasmine. Is she a good hitter? More of a pitcher, I think. All right. There's that change up, but gets away a little bit from Katie. Drops in on the plate. And then the number nine hitter, Jessie Keats, and we've all spoken about her, about what sort of a player she is right now. Well, Magpies need to shut Jasmine out here and then deal with the number nine hitter next innings. Yep. Normally when batters look back at the umpire, they'll spin <laughs> the next pitch no matter where it is. Is that a fact? Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's see. Counts two and two here. Oh, strike three. Oh, should I? She throws on that one. Great pitch there by Katie for her third strikeout, so. Well, interesting there. looking at three pitches. Three yep. strikes. All right, bottom of the second innings. Bottom of the second, let's see if Port can tack on any more runs here or if uh, the Sturt defense 
holds them. Well, the batters seven, eight, and nine: Jess Neves, Ella Forrester, and Charlize Callahan. Well, looking forward to the finals, Jess. I guess you are. It's getting close, isn't it? It's getting close. Yeah. It's getting very close. And any one of these four teams could take it out, realistically. Realistically, every team is has an equal shot, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, they all have their strengths. Yep. And they all have, uh, well, there's no weak ones, as you wouldn't think, with the top four, but they have things you, people can work on. Always. Hmm, always. Yeah, but Once everyone seems to be gearing up just in time for finals. Yep. Um, like you said, Katie's been throwing really well. Um, you know, West Torrance's lineup is so strong. You got Port, who, I mean, Sturt, whose lineup again, the same thing. Their lineup doesn't get any easier as you no, look down no, it. And no. they've got speed and experience with Bell and Maddie, and then uh, Walkerville. And doing Sturt pretty good. tonight, I think, have got six people on the bench. And uh, either any one of those could come in at any time and do a job. Yeah, just, absolutely. Just play a little part for the Morgan and, and Michelle, the coaches for Sturt. So the count's here. I think it's that was a good two. pitch. Just took a bit off it. Yep. Counts one and two here. Jess Neves, aggressive hitter also. Watches that one. Good eye there. Very small strike zone. <laughs> you, you think you'd take advantage of it if you were better, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd think. So we go full count here with Jess, on Jess. Um, but big hack here, it's hit out to Ada. Ada's got him in foul territory. Ada settles under that pretty easily. She probably get the has the best view there without the sun for the outfielders because left field and center are having a hard time. So. Um, Settled that under that one easy first out of the inning. That brings in Ella Forrester playing at third base. Nice piece there. It's right over second base. Scooped up by Ada. And that's a nice, nice single there. And that's obviously why she's playing. Nice base hit there. Strong contact, attacked early. It's well done by a young girl. Here's another young player, Charlize Callahan. Did a good job at left field the other night, Wednesday or Thursday, I think it was Wednesday. And uh, so she's retained her spot, which is support from the coaching staff. Always good to see, yep. We're attacking these pitches early here that Jasmine's throwing, and taking, you know, see the pitch that you like and they're going, early, they're going hard here. Well, Vicky's the next batter. I, I'd be inclined to bunt the ball here and push Ella on if possible. and. Let Vicky have a go. Oh, she's big swing here. Sturt's going to go. Oh, and they ease up. <laughs> I think Bell wanted to throw it and get the double play there, but maybe smart holding on to it. So Sturt gets that second out at second base. Um, Rachel Tonkin to Bell White. Oh, that's an intentional walk. Ah, Vicky has an intentional walk here. Well, yeah. Uh, and perhaps that was the answer for the uh, before Maddie Cameron had hit the long shot. Yeah. As we talked about. Yeah. But that's smart. That's smart. It's Talia George. Nice pitch there by Jess. I'm sure Vicky would have wanted to hit. <laughs> yes, I think so. Uh... Nice piece there. Jesse Keach scoops that right up and steps on third. So aggressive swing there by Talia George, but Jesse Keach, strong third baseman right there for such a young girl. She does well for herself. So statewide super replay. All over that, really easy. So that's 
quick inning there. No damage done for Port. No, well, it's time now to uh, welcome our uh, junior player of the week, wherever she is. In she comes, wearing a Sturt Falcons. Dave, this is for Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, Ruby. How are you? Good, good. You're not nervous, are you? A little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so tell us a bit about yourself, uh, Ruby, before we get into the details. What, uh, when did you start playing? What age? I think it was about eight years old. Okay, at Sturt, obviously. Yeah. Through mum and dad? Yeah. Yeah, both uh, Sturt people, of course. Uh, and uh, your, your number? Um, Lucky number? Seven. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you looked at the front of your shirt. I, <laughs> I don't see it on the front of your shirt, so that's fine. Uh, playing position? Uh, a pitcher short stop. A pitcher short stop? Okay, sounds a bit similar to your sister. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your favourite player? Um, probably Maddie Cameron. Maddie Cameron, and rightly so. What about the long shot? That was good, your right? fancy yes. dinner? Okay, so what do you like most about uh, softball, the sport of softball? Um, probably like all the friendships and all the like. Trips that you yeah, buy. it's fantastic, and you make great friends, and they'll yeah. remain friends with you for life, won't yeah. they? Okay, so no further ado, courtesy of Statewide Super, the Rising Star Junior Player of the Week from Sturt Falcons, Ruby Fridge. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, well, good luck the rest of the season. So, back to the action here. Jesse Keach, uh, nine hitter for Sturt with a strike out there. Um, Katie's doing quick work. Yep. Well, you need to do that with a nine hitter because look who's up next. Yeah, and Jesse Keach is pretty quick too. So uh, yep. she was on, um, it is a strong lineup that they have. So we have Ada now in the box. The thing you can do with Ada is throw the ball high and wide because it'll go over shortstop head to the fence, believe me. So you need to crowd her up here, make her hit the ball. Yeah, she did. There is that change up, there she goes. That was a, see that change up is just. Yep. Yeah, you can't pick oh. it, you can't, I don't know how you go batting wise, <laughs> but uh, from here you certainly can't pick it. And there's that rice ball popped up and it looks, it's out of there. Coming back, there we go. So a bit of variety here thrown to Ada, isn't it? So that's that's good. Yep, counts 0 and 2. Infield, you got to be on their toes, not on their heels here, especially this right side of the diamond, ready to run. A little wide there. Smart pitch to throw with a no two count. And yeah, you're looking at the line. You got Ada. You got to be so quick here. Um, stay on your toes. Keep Ada off. And another strikeout for Sutherland Finch there. And what a great take from Abby Mossman too. It was, it was very low. Ada tried to cover it, couldn't. But uh, that could have been uh, uh, not so flash. So two outs, and we have Bell White. In the box here for start, hoping to get something started here with two outs. You can hear <laughs> and the rest of the grandstand. That's true. Katie's got a bit of a laugh there. It was an excellent pitch by her, especially with the pace that she throws. A changeup like that is just, is really useful and comes back with another strike there. So quick work for Sutherland Finch right now in this inning. With 0 and 2, two strikes on Bell, I think I'd be throwing the changeup again. See what she goes with. It went low. Similar pitch to what got uh, Ada out. Yep. But this is a different batter. She 
good piece there. Over to Vic. And Nick Byland takes care of it. The third out. So good piece of yeah, the ball good by pace, Bell. Very good innings. Very good defensive innings going by the Magpies. Yep. Not too much gets by Vicky out there. So tell us a bit about yourself and tell the folks that are watching in the television land or <laughs> whatever, courtesy of our great friend, Mr. David Muggleton and his staff, Space Quake Sports. What part of America did you come from? I am from New Jersey. New Jersey, Jersey okay. Yep, um, went to a sports academy in Florida for high school, and then I went to college up in Boston um, by Fenway up there. So. Uh, East Coast, um, but I've traveled a lot. And then this, I graduated um, in May last year. Can't believe it's been almost a year already. But, um, and since then I've just been playing. So I was in Prague this summer for yep. a couple months there. And uh, now first time down here. What's your first impressions of Australia? I love it, it's awesome. Is it it's warm. similarities? <laughs> oh, it's warm, okay, right eh? um, No, it's, I do like Adelaide. Adelaide's a nice city. Um, it's we've been. All, I've got to travel during the break uh, with Vicky McFarlane. Uh, her and I went and did the East Coast. So um, I really love the Dane Tree and the Australia Zoo. Big Steve Irwin fan. So <laughs> it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Thought well, you guys all talk like Steve Irwin, though. <laughs> thanks. Well, thanks for giving us all an insight. <laughs> is Trenton the capital of uh, Trenton New is Jersey? the capital. Yeah. Okay. Look at your. United States knowledge. Good job. <laughs> Another fluke. Yeah. Great so pitch there. So Rita Myers, the hitter, the number three hitter, and she uh, got their first run courtesy of the squeeze play. Excellent but, squeeze. But uh, she was going to go after that and then shouldered arms. Mm. Yep, Jazz is just missing here a little bit, so it counts three and one here. Um, and I'm sure Rita... Hopes to lead off, start off this inning report here. Nice piece of ball right there out to Maddie Cameron all over it. So good piece of hitting, but Maddie's underneath that easy. Even with the sun. <laughs> yeah, well, she got full extension with it, and that you can't ask for anything more. So she started well, Rita, in the two turns at bat. Now here's danger. Anything up high is going to be still going tomorrow. She had the walk last at bat. Let's see what she does here. Like you said, though, Jazz does have to be a little careful up in the zone, just like that. I could see. Uh, I could. Katie's eyes got a little big on that yes, one. Yes, I think so. I think she's she's thinking I missed one there. A little bit of a timeout here. Coach Butch Sims having a word with Katie and Sturt Bell White being the leader that she is out there with the experience she has, talking to her pitcher a little bit, talking to the infield. Yeah, I think uh, Butch might have been saying to Katie, you see another one like that, put a motor on it. Yeah. Because I don't think of anything else he could be saying. <laughs> As I said before, you get a call you don't agree with, you're probably swinging at the next one. There we go. Ground ball to second base. Rachel Tonkin over to Pippa Atkins. Gets the sec oh, second out of the inning, oh, first out. So it's another one of these games where people get runs early and then the game just goes along defensively. The first base, Emily Catuso. First pitch swing here, right over to well Rachel handled, Atkins. Wasn't Rachel it? Well Tompkins. handled. So Port is being aggressive. They're swinging early in these counts, um, but I think Emily just missed that one a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's the answer with Katie. You swing early uh, before she has uh, she gets on top of you, and then she's got so much variety she can throw, including that. Awesome change up.
into the fourth already. Yeah, games move along. And batters three, four, and five. Do you think if Pippa gets on, they may intentionally walk Maddie Cameron this time? Um, I've got a feeling they will. I don't know. I think, I don't know if Katie would throw the same pitch that she threw, but uh, um, I'm not really sure. I think, I don't know, personally as a pitcher, I really don't like intentional walks. <laughs> no, well, uh, you only get one a game each side, so uh, that's fine. But you can pitch carefully and walk them. You can pitch carefully way. and be yeah. careful, yep. Yeah. Um, Deliberately walk them, but just pitch care. you know, pitch yeah. them away. So, Pippa Atkins. She might go short here, shortly. First pitch ball there, I think Katie wanted that one. Infield's in just a little bit, trying to be all over Pippa here. And she watches that first strike. There's that change up. Two balls. One strike here. This could be quite an inning for uh, Sturt here. If they can get this lead off on. Aggressive swing there. Yeah, she has power, Pippa. So <laughs> when she makes good contact, it'll go deep. Right field, I'd say. Yeah, she does have strong pull on the ball. Uh, I think it's time for the change up right <laughs> this time. Not needed. Strike three there for Katie. That was an excellent outside pitch there and uh, keeps the lead off off the base. All right, so that's six strikeouts for Sutherland Finch already. So she's having a good. Like you said, she settled in. Yep. So Maddie Cameron's up. Had that awesome shot to left, last at bat here. So I think nice change up there. Yep. I think Katie just trying to get it tempted in there, having a go at that early in the count. Yeah, you want to get ahead on a strong hitter like Maddie. Yep. Then you can start using your pitches out of the zone a little bit. Katie's rise, yep. change up. So back to back change ups, yep. not when Maddie fouls off down the third baseline. So It's not a bad thought, is it? Because uh, then now Maddie's going to use the power's got to come from her rather than the pace of the pitch. Yep. Uh, but I'm, I'm saying she won't throw a th third one here. Might go to the well once too often. <laughs> up three in a row she did. and well. a soft liner over to Ella Forrester for the out that was smart pitching there oh very clever statewide super replay you can see this change up coming in Got it just floats yeah. there and uh, Ellie scoops that Ella scoops that one right up so now what do we have Sarah is it Sarah Tonkin? Yep, yes, it is. Catch a Sarah Tonkin. First pitch swing, held straight back. It's a pretty simple philosophy, Jesse, isn't it really? Hmm. You as a pitcher would be well aware of this, that batters, really good batters, hard hitters of the ball, do not like the ball with no pace on it. Yeah. Some batters, you know, it's different for your batters seven, eight, nine, you might say as an example, that maybe that's the ball they can hit the off pace one. Yes. But that is up down the six. No, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, no, a changeup's an awesome pitch to have in your battery. Ground ball to short. Vicky throws over to Emily. Oh, a little, almost a little bit of a wild throw there, but Emily held on to that there. So. Quick, big inning. That was a big inning for Port Stephens. Yeah, there's there. been a few um, now, isn't there, since the first? Yep. Um, really took care of those three hitters because every single one in that start lineup is such a strong hitter. So um, this game's moving along pretty quick. Let's 
once they start, might be making some changes here. Let's see, it looks, Millie might be, Millie Fidge has her face mask on, maybe she's going in, but I'm not gonna call it too soon. <laughs> Yep, so yep, we have Millie it. Fidge headed out there to pitch. Another young, excellent pitcher um, here. So real strong. Uh, she pitched against Walkerville on Thursday. We had, we saw Millie throw, so. Yeah, she pitched the entire game then. Yep, it was a quick turnaround that Thursday to Saturday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Felt that one. Would you believe cool. it was only two days? Yeah. Yeah, and it's a little different. You see the the different strengths that we were talking about before with the different teams. So yep. Sturt, they have their power pitcher in Katie, and then um, Sturt here, they have a couple young girls, but they have the qu quantity of the pitchers. They have multiple yep. pitchers that they can go to. They have um, Mil um, Zolly, Zolly, Zolly Adams. Yep. Um, you have Millie Fitch here, and now you have Jazz. So um, three good young pitchers that they can turn to in situations. Yeah, and they could also pitch Jordan Lee at a pinch. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, yep. plenty to pick from. And uh, when you're not blowing people away, that's what you need. Absolutely. So, we have Gemma Letton stepping in here. The girl from the Riverland, Gemma Letton, <laughs> playing at center field in this game. Normally takes the left field spot. Okay. And Talia George plays at center, but Talia George is hitting. Uh, today for the catcher, Abby Mosman. And so that puts Gemma out to center field. And as I said before at the start, Charlize Callahan did nothing wrong the other night on Wednesday night, so she retains that spot at left field. So I think Millie's getting settled in out there. She's behind 2 0 here, but um, she's getting set yep. facing this batter. I believe Gemma. Gemma and Millie were teammates in the under 19s this year, and they were in Sydney for a little bit. They had a great tournament over there, so well done to those girls. So count is three and one here, and you have Bell White coming in to talk to give her teammate a little bit of yeah, encouragement. Yeah, and, and it's a bit hard for a pitcher coming in because now, look, she's looking, the sun's in her eyes, all she sees forward is the shade. And then Sun again. Nice comeback pitch right there mm. by Millie. Gemma liked that pitch, but. Gemma looks like she's grown a bit too. And uh, <laughs> since I saw her last, doesn't come down on Wednesdays normally because of the distance. Another good comeback pitch there by Millie. So counts three and two. Um, Gemma's being aggressive, sees the pitches coming in the yep. strike zone there. So. Play with a big future. Won the under 17 best and fairest the previous year. Uh, so that's ball four there. And Port has a first base runner since that first inning, huh? Okay, so leading 2 1. Two what do you think is going to happen here? I don't think they'll steal, not on Sarah's arm, especially with Bell receiving the ball. Big swing there by Neves. So they get in the, themselves in the position here, Port, where they can play the sacrifice bunt or they can play a hit and run, providing Jess gets ahead of the count. Yep. I think with a hitter like Jess, you can just let her, in this situation, just let her. Oh, showed bunt, got the defense. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. I think Gemma was expecting the bunt, so she she took off for second. Yeah. And then Gemma, Gemma just needs to wait for the music <laughs> before she starts dancing on the spot. Yep. Yes, that was she was caught in caught in the middle Namazin. there. But yeah. Let's see if she goes for the bunt again here. Shows bunt, foul back. 
Oh. Umpire um, McCauley's powerful. getting the message across. He's hit it about five times. Well, yeah, three. I think Gemma was still running. So. Yeah, she was. <laughs> She's um, off. So the bump, but the ball was wide. The pitch was wide, so that made it very yep. difficult to put in the play. So one and two, she's showing bunt here, but she pulls back that two strikes. Two oh. strikes, two strikes with nearly, if she puts one in the slot, I'd still bunt. <laughs> uh, I'd still bunt. Uh, you got a hit. See, she gets herself in a good hitting position there. Yep. Jess. Millie's going to have to come right at her here. Yeah. Count three, two. Um, but again, you got to be careful. You don't want to throw anything too no, good here right. and make it hurt. Um, Payoff pitch, and Jess fouls that one off out of play. Sometimes when you call the sacrifice bunt on the, with two strikes and the batter, that's pressure again, like I said, with the hit and run, and like the squeeze. And then you'd be surprised how many people can put that third strike in the play. Yeah. So this is good, very good turn at bat, wasn't it? Both girls. Both girls. So that's all. Just need draws that walk. And Belle White calls time out for stir. I think she's just trying to get Millie to settle in just a little bit out there. Yeah. Um, if you, I mean, you look around the infield, they have a very young team, very young infields, and Belle doing the right thing there. To call and that's, the time why, out. that's why she's a massive advantage playing at shortstop. Yeah. Because everyone can hear her voice. Commands the field very mm. well. And that's it. And you got Maddie in center field holding. Yeah. yeah. So. Holding fort, the captain of the outfield, <laughs> as they say. Well, they've got to tighten up on these last two batters, hitters eight and nine, Ella and Charlize, because they don't want bases loaded when McFarlane turns up. <laughs> Side, yeah, maybe. it was a good try though, wasn't it? It was a good choice of pitch. See if they could it was get, a, yep. get her in. She's had a good hit of the first turn at bat. Went out the right field. Shows bunt, fouls it straight back. Coach Butch Simmons just reminding Ella, relax. Just yeah. do, you're good. Yeah, that was more of a, a bunt type bunt you'd be doing on the squeeze because the pitch was high and the runners took off. So I'm thinking they were trying to squeeze him through there. Button run. Mm -hmm. See if... Nice comeback pitch there by Millie. It's a battle, isn't it? As you will know, Jesse is a pitcher. It's you and the catcher versus this batter. This yes. batter, not the next one, not the one before, but this one. Nice strike three right there by Millie Fidge. Caught Gem on her heels a little bit there, but um, great comeback by Millie. Two uh, people on base, you need to swing, surely. You do need to swing, but after two walks, that was a great comeback there mm, for Millie. Yeah, so, that was. One down here for start, and you have... Charlize Callahan. Callahan's in the box, shows bunt. Yeah, that's it. it. Jesse scoops it up, Jesse Keach fires it over to first and gets that second out. Percentage play, wasn't it? Percentage play, you move the runners over, you have Vicki McFarlane up to bat now, so... Well done. Again, that's the, that comes down back to team team hitting and doing what you need to do to get the runners in scoring position. Yep. So, um, well done, well executed. And now we have Coach Morgan Young coming out to talk to his his battery. What do you do here? Do you take your chances with Vicky, uh, thinking maybe she won't hit a double that scored two runs, or do you walk her carefully, just pitching the ball outside, yep. and deliberately walk her? and uh, give them one run rather than the chance of two runs going down. Oh, you know, as yeah, a pitcher. Yeah, well, decisions, isn't it? As a pitcher, I just strike her out. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> but no, here in this situation, you have first base open. You want to be very, very careful. And first pitch. <laughs> I think I think Millie laughed at that one a little bit. I don't think she was supposed to throw that one no, out right no, where she did. And I don't think Vicky McFarlane was expecting it neither. Well, Vicky doesn't usually swing first pitch. Uh, and there's a shot it's out to clear. center over Maddie's That's head. Clear. It's clear. One clear. run. One runs in. Two Maddie's runs. Maddie's going. Uh, held up at two. What a shot there by Vicky McFarlane. Two RBIs clear over Maddie's head there. What a piece of hitting that was. 
great job. Statewide super replay, you see that pitch. It's just middle up, unfortunately, can't leave that there. Well, I'll take you back to what I said before that pitch, uh, Jesse, was do you walk it, deliberately walk yeah. it, the catcher, set up out here, and then deliberately walk it and give them one run rather than two? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough call in that of situation. Course, of course. Um, but, I mean, sometimes battle like Vicky, you got to be yeah, smarter that's right. in that situation, Sometimes you, uh, sometimes you, you go with your gut feeling, yep. you know, when you when you're batting and coaching. I sure. think in that situation, and you saw that, I mean, you could see on the pitch, it was just that middle up right in that sweet spot. And yeah. uh, I think you saw the pitch and went for it. So great hit there. Uh, she wanted to go three, but Maddie Cameron's got a great arm in center field and she gets that ball in very quick. So um, just greedy, the Mac attack then. Wanting another base. Another oh, shot line that's a drive hard shot. back at Millie. Well taken, Millie. Who snags that one? Uh, that came off hot off the bat, huh? <laughs> so Millie grabs that. You can see, you see Millie's shielding her eyes a little bit. It's very hard to see that ball coming off the bat, and it's just a shot right back. Ooh, nice grab yes. there. Um, so then you look at it. You could have had the situation. Vicky would have been on first, and you know if you were. But you know, it's always easier to call it after. <laughs> of course. So, and that also comes with a little bit of experience. Um, Millie's yep. a younger pitcher, and um, you know, Vicky's such an experienced player, so she she did did what she needed to do there, got those runs in. So we've been going in nearly 55 minutes, and we're up to the top of the fifth. Yep. So Katie's back out here, um, and let's see. Katie's on a roll right now. I think she's got the six Ks. So. We'll see if she holds this start line up. And we start with Jordan Lee, who uh, in the second innings was lead off batter, as it turned out. Sometimes that happens with batter six to nine. Had a K2, but no disgrace in that. There's been a few that's had a K2s. <laughs> what did we say? Six, did we say? I think there's six. Six, okay. Yeah, Katie's really controlling the start lineup well. Swinging early, foul ball. And that's what I was saying about some of these young uh, start players. When they swing, they have a lovely swing. See how far that went? It was foul, but it it was going distance. Now she throws the change up. Surely. <laughs> nice pitch there. Maybe Geordie just got a bit ahead of herself then after just hitting that long ball thinking, this is easy. <laughs> little out there. Smart pitching by Sutherland Finch. Um, you know, 0-2, you don't want to throw anything too good. <laughs> so, see what she goes with here. There it goes again. Jordan Lee's opening up. If you see her swing, she's opening up so yeah, early yeah. and really getting those hands through the and ball. And that's why the change-up's the, the ideal pitch right now because she'll be committed and the ball won't be there. There it is. There it is. Just a little high, though. Oh, just a... It looked high, didn't it? Yeah, it came yeah. in a little up. I think that was a good call there. Um, well, if she throws three straight to Maddie Cameron, she's <laughs> surely going to throw two to Jordan. to fire her there, so that's K number seven for Sutherland Finch. Well, those people out there, the pessimists that said that everyone's caught up with Katie Sutherland Finch, I think you need to have another look because at the moment, before this game, there's only been an average of two runs per game against Port Adelaide, so not a lot of runs, I would think. May win some games, may not be enough to win others. others. Rachel Tonkin, second base. Tries to get that bunt down there, fouls it off. I tell you what, catcher Mossman's right on top of the game here today. Yep, she's all over it. 
She looks very comfortable back yeah, there. Yeah, um, she does. She's settled in nicely. That's her spot. I've she's seen her in Dragon's Camp. I've seen her have a go. At Jams her up a little bit, fell. Have a go at third base, but I think catch her, you know, she's... Uh, oh, good back there. Know, get the opportunity. That's your chance to say, I can catch at this level. Yeah, no, absolutely. She's also uh, calling a very good game. I know that's from my, my yeah. pitcher eye, I noticed. <laughs> but um, she's working well with the pitching pitches that Katie has and mixing it up well. Number eight. That is a strike out there for Cat Sutherland Finch. Again, number eight. A little, I think, I think, um, she got a little bit ahead of herself there on that swing. Yeah, I think uh, you think Katie's uh, settling in the groove. Yeah. What she have eight? You said it's eight. Eight. There we've got eight. Size me. <laughs> uh, so let's see if she gets them here. How many strikeouts do you have today? I had eight. Eight. Eight strikeouts. But that was through six. So we're only what in the fifth inning here. Yep. Yeah, Kate's going to get it. <laughs> but, uh, yep, we Walkerville and West Torrance today. But uh, West Torrance's lineup, same. it's so strong throughout. There's no one on that team that doesn't add a lot of power when they swing. So um, No no, Sophie Hall or uh, Carly Allen today. There's two big hitters. But, uh, the last inning. Yep. Steph Trzynski made it up. She uh, pitched the last inning for West Orange. Okay. David was asking. So, um, yeah, I think um, it was one hit, one hit for West Orange. So that lineup is definitely something. It's the same thing with the Sturt lineup. Um, they find a way. They're good. Yeah. They work well together, and you got really strong. I mean, Jordan Lambert's lead off there, and um, you've Lana and Chelsea all excellent hitter so um yeah no i, I was happy about it <laughs> glad we, glad so we I, gathered, I gathered that jess <laughs> three boards one strike you just come back hard here surely. yeah absolutely yeah so millie fouls that one out back and again shut this innings down now and then get the jesse again it'll be if she shuts Millie down, it'll be Jesse again. Jesse yep. Keach. Jesse Keach is on deck. Yeah. Um, Leading off the next innings. Counts three and two here, though. Let's see. Katie shakes off that one pitch from Mossman, but let's see what she goes with here. And a little bit of a pop up. And Vicky's quick feet gets under that. <laughs> yes, as casual as you'd like. Yeah, she makes it look pretty easy, huh? <laughs> So statewide super replay, you can tell, you see here, it's just got a lot of spin on it. And Vicky got, Vicky yep. snags it, so. No addition to score, it remains 4-0 four Port. 4-1. Four 4-1, one. Four one. Four one. correction, one. yeah. Maddie right. did just you testing well. you uh, just to I'm see if you're paying attention. On it. <laughs> on it, um, on it big time. Yes. Yeah, but besides that first inning with Maddie's Cameron's shot, Katie's been handling the Sturt lineup very well. So um, I'll be curious to see. Next inning, we have, like you said, Jesse Keach is going to be the leadoff. Um, excellent nine batter. Great yeah. position for Jesse because she is a versatile player. And, and so similar, we'll similar stage of affairs for Port because Rita Meyer led off last uh, two innings ago. She's leading off again. All right. So see what she can do for her team right now. Port without Tash straps today. She's still away in Bali, I believe. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> so Emily Catuso is doing well at first base, getting some uh, good outs there, assists. So here we go, uh, Rita Meyer. Let's see what she, she had that bunch. She had the excellent squeeze play. Mm -hmm. And a then fly up. hit out to Maddie. I hit Cameron. out to Maddie. So she's doing well. Let's see what she does here. Um, hopes to get this rolling for. Well, the one thing about uh, Millie I've seen with her pitching is she keeps the ball down most times. You know, she's, she does, she's not throw up, up 
top of the zone, so you don't like that. She, you're not going to get hurt as much, I don't think. No. Yep. With a long ball, you may get hit flat, but you won't get hit long. Unfortunately, she left it. that one up a little bit for Vicky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I think she's just learned. She's working with her pitches and stuff, but you're right. She does keep it low. Um, and when you have such a strong defense behind you, well, it's well, the smart thing to do. Keep it low. It. You use can't your defense. blow them away. Use your defense. Oh, see, I like that pitch right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the pitch I'm talking about. And both the catcher and pitcher were disappointed. Yep. It won't change. It's two and one. <laughs> Don't you wish she could change the umpire's mind sometimes? Oh, it's just... <laughs> A little bit of a chopper right up the middle, and she's going to be safe at first. So um, hit the four. Having a good game with the bat, Rita. Doing well. Helping her team any way she can. So statewide super replay. Just a chopper up the middle, but it doesn't look like Rachel Tonkin can come across and get it. So it's just well placed hit. So we used to hyphenate it with the bat. Uh, You'd be reluctant to bunt her, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Katie's a strong bunter. <laughs> no. But they'll try and get in a in a good they'll try and get into a good hitting position and yes. then maybe play a hit and run. Because Rita, the more the fly, she's not slow at first. Oh, we do see the bunt by yeah. Katie. Oh. And Pippa tosses that into right field. Rita's going over to third, and she's standing up on third. So. And this time, right fielder Ada Caruana didn't fire it across the third. She threw it to Bill White. Um, Rita was already on yeah. third. She was standing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So good bunt by Katie, but Pippa, unfortunately, um, lets that ball get away from her a See little bit. See what happens in this game, though. You can drill the ball hard and get out, <laughs> and then you can bunt the ball and get somebody on two bases. Softball's funny like that, Yeah, huh? it is. It is. <laughs> and that's what makes it intriguing. And yeah. makes it interesting for spectators. All right, so Emily Catuzzo, runners on first and third here. I'll be curious to see if they if they bunt again, but uh, Emily's got a good bat, so they might just let her. Oh, here we go, first pitch swing. Ball's out to Ada, and she's got a tag up. Play's going to be at the plate. Oh, great tag. I hope she's all right there. Well, personally, I know it's hindsight, but personally, that was too short for the runner to come even though oh, Maya, Rita's down. Yeah, even though she can run uh, reasonably quick uh, it's a bit groggy Rita doesn't she uh, I think she you're going to see this on the statewide super replay so she does well she tags up she holds it goes home let's see here oh Head? Did her head oh, hit look it? at her, her she looks like her right oh no her right arm was sorry, it? Oh, but okay. it was her head she definitely yeah, got it um, great tag by Sarah Tonkins. She made sure she had the ball and then went across and yeah. did a great tag. Um, I just thought it was a little shallow to be going from there because yeah. Ada's got a good arm. Yeah, you got a three three run lead. I think it was yeah. Yeah. pass ball here, gets yeah, away from Tonkin yeah. and Katie takes third. So no one's up there. Okay. <laughs> now they are two of them now. Yeah. So you can see here on the statewide super replay, Ada's got a great arm. So she's she's pretty close in there. So hard hit there i think she hit yeah that was her head there unfortunately yeah. um but i think she's doing all right looks like she's up in the dugout so so one out runner on third S score still hand stands for one but uh let's see what Gemma does here Nice piece. Oh, Millie oh, snags that. Play. <laughs> Excellent for the take. third out. Mm -hmm. That was a great snag right there by Millie Fidge. Gets out of the inning without any damage. So, well done to Sturt. It looked threatening, didn't it? It, it was really threatening, threatening for a second yeah. there, but um, you see that play at the plate again. Let's see if Rita comes back out. Hopefully she does. Oh, 
Oh, you can see it here in slow motion. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's her head. Head. And her arm got caught in there. Um, yeah, yeah. So she got a double whammy then, didn't she? It yeah, really... that was a hard hit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah held onto the ball well there, though. So great execution by Sturt, but um, we're hoping Rita's good. It looks like she's back out there, so yep, she's good. Yep. All right, that's fine. good to hear. Good to see. <laughs> um, so, Jesse Keach stepping in here for Sturt, really hoping to lead this inning off for her team, I'm sure. Well, what they need is for Jesse to get on and then Ada also to uh, push her around and then go to the big guns. Yep, I think. Um, like Bell, well, Bell batting uh, and then Pepper yeah. and then Maddie will. Is it, here's their chart. Ooh. <laughs> Gets away from Katie a little bit, throws that one to That's the back. called, let's waste one. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I don't know how many batters would be swinging at that. Maybe some seven foot giant, perhaps. <laughs> nice pitch there, outside corner. Good comeback pitch. So I'll be curious to see if Sturt does anything this inning to try and mix it up um, since they're not really hitting Katie. No, um, just, just make things maybe happen. Maybe make things happen. Yeah, yeah. So, curious to see if they bunt in a situation. And a little bit of a check swing there from Jesse. Tries to hold back on the rise ball, but she was not able to. Yeah, well, you look you look at uh, look at the infield for Port. Yep. And not experience Ella Forrest at third. Uh, Emily Catuso has played a bit at first, but not a lot. And three, Jesse, you Neves, miss there. Jesse Neves has played a lot in the outfield or on the other side of the diamond. So, yep. yeah, it's a good point, a valid point you make. Yeah, and you're just, you got your nine batter up. Um, good, it would have been, been a good situation to bump there. So, um, unable to. All right, so that brings up Ada. And again, you got your leadoff up. I'm, I'm curious that's, to see that's if. That's 10K2s for the coach and Ada. That's 10? There yep. we go. Oh, she shows the bunt, pulls back. Um, yep, so we have Ada, Bell, Pippa, Maddie. So this would be huge here if Ada could get on base for our team. Yep. Oh, a nice piece of the ball there. Hit out to center. It's over Gemma Letton's head. Ada's going three. She's going third. And she's standing up nicely on third. So what a hit there. And with the risk of a repeating myself what does I say to you I did know to throw it up high and out <laughs> you did say that it'll so. go over short side there to the fence yep it did you saw Gemma and chase that one down but uh eight is quick great eight hit. stand great up hit. on third so um and now you got Bell up so big situation here for Sturt if they can execute here um this is what you want though you got your lead off yep on base and looks like Katie's trying to keep went down, went back to keeping it low. <laughs> um, has got oh, a nice change up there. A little bit outside though. Yep. Um, but Bell's got such quick hands, um, so she can. Katie's pace. The most experienced player playing here. Well, one of the most experienced players. Oh, through the legs of Coach Morgan. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> he was an excellent player himself in men's a few years ago. Excellent player. Okay. So hitters count here, two and one. Big situation here for Bell. Ropes that one. Oh, I got excited. <laughs> I thought that was going to be down the line, uh, but just went foul a little bit. So. Do you see what I mean about pitching pace to some of these batters like White, and Cameron, and Ada? Pitch pace, throw it out. Yeah. They they free their arms. It goes. That went. It's true. That was. She got all of that ball. <laughs> Hyphenator has to throw the change up here. Right. Yeah. This pitch. Yep. That's I'm what going, I'm going. I'm going low and out. Let's see it. Oh, such a called it. 
on it. <laughs> I think, you, I think you did say low and out. <laughs> it was over the middle of the place. Right. But I'll give you, I'll Three, give you, a, I'll give you a half a mark. Three, two count, runner on third. Let's see if Val gets this one. Change up. Honestly, a smart thing to do. You got yeah. the bases open. Um, got a three-run lead and a very experienced hitter in the box. So um, that's pretty smart. And if you hit, if she did hit that change, I mean, yeah. uh, nail that change up, then uh, it would have been an excellent pitch there. But not a bad, you know, very disciplined in the box for um, for Bell. I wonder whether they'll try something here and steal Bell. That's what I was thinking. So you have Pippa Atkins at the plate, who is very skilled, and you know she can bunt, she can slap the ball, and she can you know power it, pull it. Yeah. Um, and you got Ada's speed on third and Bell's speed and experience on first. Yeah. So uh, uh, you got to be thinking something's coming down I'm here. I'm thinking still Bell, right? Mm -hmm. Then you bunt, they might bunt her then. They may try a running bunt. All right. And then intentional walk for Cameron. That's okay. how, that's that's how, how going, going see how we get. See how we go. <laughs> Bell off on the pitch. Uh, pitch gets away from Katie just a little bit, but well handled by Abby Mossman. So you can imagine that pitch getting by yeah. her. Um, so great job back there. Well, even if Bell gets caught in a trap play deliberately and scores this run, because Ada could score on that. Yep, I think Coach Morgan wanted Bell to go on that pitch. He was laughing. Nice change up. Pulls back right. just in time and Bell's standing up at second. So, um, you know, she saw that change up going in, took off the second. So. Huge situation here for Pippa and for Sturt. You got yep. Maddie Cameron on deck and, oh. Bunt it was, wasn't it? It was a little bit of a swinging bunt. <laughs> well, it was, it was a running bunt. <laughs> it was a nice bunt, uh, bunt. just fell uh, off though. Yeah. I think a pop-up though, was the last thing they Sturt needs right now. So, um, let's see where she goes. All right, go up and in, out of way, pop up. Into Pat territory and Ella and Bossman both couldn't quite get to it. Well, I'm thinking one of them go horizontal. We'll pick the pieces <laughs> up later. That'd be just your luck, wouldn't you? Take a shoestring catch <laughs> and the runner walks on as yep. you're lying down in yep, cross-strike position. All right, ne she two needs two to here. strike her out here, Katie, for the port sake. 2-2, two, two. second and third here. Great pitch. Woo. Just to fit it outside. <laughs> well, she's getting the intentional walk. Unless it's a double play, she gets the intentional Maddie. walk. Cameron, yeah. Cameron. We'll yep. see. Ball for it. End of pass ball. Mossman hustles, but Ada's in. And Pippa Atkins, very aggressive base running. Sees the plays happening at the plate and goes to second. So, statewide super replay here. You see ball four gets up and over past Mossman, who hustles um, at eight to speed. And uh, Katie, and while all that was happening, Pippa just went, yep. took second. So, great job running there. So, what are you calling here? We got second and third. Intentional walk. You cannot let her bat. <laughs> See you later, Maddie. Walk Butch, up the first. <laughs> Butch Sims calling time out here. No, he's not going to. Well, hey, has he? Oh, okay. Uh, no, they, no, haven't they haven't done do it. it. They haven't done it. Port haven't done it. No, no, no. no yeah, Sturt yeah. intentionally walked. That's Farland. all right. We thank you for your input, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got a two-run lead here. You got two runners on, and Maddie Cameron, the best hitter, one of the best hitters in the league at the plate. That's what you got to do. Intentional walk here. So put Katie on third, on first. I mean, excuse me, put Maddie on first. You got bases loaded, loaded, but you got Sarah Tompkins out. This isn't, you know. So how am I tracking with you this <laughs> this situation? Just about everything right, wasn't it? Yeah, you're doing pretty Every, goodly. You're reasonable, on it. Reasonable, reasonable. <laughs> Making sure I don't take this job, Holly. <laughs> All over it. First pitch, change it up for a ball here. Base is loaded. You got two, two run lead here, but only one out. So mm -hmm. tough situation. Hopefully, let's see what Start does here. Hoping to bust it open here. Ball two. Uh, 
think Katie was a little frustrated with that one there, yeah. but um, as well. So she's probably trying to throw pitch as low so you can go the double play here. You want the ground ball yeah, here, you, you do. do. You, you don't do. want, um, even, you don't really want anything in the air, anything at all. So you want the ground ball, she's staying low here. Um, goes yeah. back to what she's comfortable with though, which is her rise ball. So um, yeah. there was that good low rise ball right there. So coming back two and one. Hitters I, wouldn't, count I wouldn't go too many rise balls no. here because if it gets away, it'll be another run. Yep. Let's see this pit. Pop up down the first baseline. Let's see if Emily can grab that. And she just misses. Um, I think she was a bit worried about the fence Worry there. Worried of the fence, yeah. She was going at it. I thought she was going to get it, but. Uh, yep. I think in a situation like this, you got bases loaded and one out, you yeah. really got to go for that. Yeah. But again, it's very easy for us to sit here and of say course. that. And, um, we're, under, we're not under <laughs> pressure. Exactly. So two and two here. Bases loaded for Sturt. Sarah Tonkin in the box. Here's the pit. Big hit here. Out to left. You got Charlie. Bell tags up and is able to hold it. But the ball back. <laughs> Oh, we got a bit of a mix up here. Maddie Cameron's caught between second and third. Pippa's going four, throws four, she's down. Safe at home. Ball's getting away again. Maddie's coming four. Wow. What? What? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to break that down a little bit. So we had Sarah Tonkin hits the ball. Good piece of hitting, she Left gets it field. out of the infield. Charlie's uh, Charlie. the young player catches it. Charlie out there and let's see. So I think we need the <laughs> space, quake, space quake super replay here. That's all right. So uh, we'll get that replay up in just a second, but um, ball the got throw, away from Port the there. The throw came in and it was, you couldn't have cut it with a circular saw. Unfortunately, the throws, and then they started chasing runners. Yep. Um, you had Maddie Cameron caught between second and third, but we have speed of Pippa on, uh, on third there. So um, Sturt just takes advantage of yep. Port. You got a bunt here, and no one's at second. I mean, at first. So, uh, Jordan Lee, I think the defense for, uh, for Port here was not, they weren't ready for that at all. So, um, I think they need to settle here a little bit, but Katie was all over the bunt. No one was at first, unfortunately. But the, pit, the, but the pitch to Sarah Tonkin was up, which we spoke about, not yeah. throwing it up, and, and that's what did it. I yeah. mean, she caught the ball all right, it was difficult. Yep. Charlie's, but she got that the out. Throw, the throw it was the throws. And then unfortunately, they started yep. chasing runners a little bit. So what yep. happened is Maddie Cameron was caught before, between second and third there. And since they were worried about her, Pippa went to take home. Throw came home, got away from whoever was at the plate at that point. And then, um, then they threw it back, trying to get Maddie. And the ball went all over the place, unfortunately. But another long shot out to center field. Let's see if she can see it. And Gemma Letton settles underneath that and makes that catch despite the sun. So a uh, big inning there for Sturt. Let's for look at this action. statewide super replay. As you see, Sarah Tonkin hits that out to left field. Charlize throws it in, throws, get, gets away from. And you see here, so you see Maddie Cameron's caught here. Yep. As soon as that throw goes to th second base though, Pippa takes four. Gets away from Katie. Ah, oh, Pip knocks it out of Katie's glove. And no one was covering the plate after that. So, um, bit, bit of an experience there by Abby Mossman. Probably shouldn't have thrown it behind both the runners. No. So you got both runners at third pretty much. And uh, she does throw it over to second. Hate of the moment? Um, I think she in her head she was being aggressive. She was trying to get Maddie, but um, that just got away from Port there. And let's see what's next. And you see Maddie Cameron coming in, but no one's covering the plate there. They had four of them. Mm. Four Perkles were standing at the plate. So big inning for Sturt there. Certainly was. Huge inning. And um, yeah, that was well done. Very exciting. Um, and now it comes back. You got Port, who's been scoring. So let's see if they can, if this Sturt defense can hold them. Well, it's better seven, eight, nine. So uh, that gives Sturt every possible chance here. Seven, eight, nine, and back to the top with Vicky. So um, let's see what is this? Jess, Jess Neves, what Jess does Neves, here? Yeah. What does what she does here? Um, 
I think Millie's going to want to be smart, make sure. And it's the same thing we were talking about. Keep the ball on the ground. Use the defense that you have behind us, behind her. So um, behind 2-0 and here. So good count for Jess Needs. Um, now I'll be curious to see how Port bounces back after that. Well, they've got to get people <laughs> on, on to start with, don't they? Hey, it's, it's what Port uh, Sturt just did. Yep. Got runners on, yeah, moved happens. them around. Yep. And that's the game, you know? <laughs> All right, three and out here. Got to take two pitches at least. Yeah. That's one. There's one strike. Make her go full. Absolutely. You definitely don't want to walk the lead off here, I think. <laughs> no, but but the batter, I'm just saying, oh, the yeah, batter, batter needs to take, take this two. one as well. Yep. Take it as well. Ball That's four. why. There you go. So, play, unfortunately, play the percentages. you know, Sturt only got the one run lead out of that. So, despite having such a huge inning, they're only up by one. So, um, yep. got to be careful here because now you got eight, nine top. Yeah, and, and Ella Forrester, first hit was a nice hit to right field. To right field, so mm. she's on it. Um, let's see what Millie does here. So another another ball for Millie. I've just got a feeling that Coach Simmons might bring in a pinch hitter for the number nine hitter, Charlize. Uh, if, if this person gets on, if Ella gets on as well as Jess, uh, might bring in Georgia Murphy, maybe. Uh, uh, it's surmising. I'm just surmising. Hey, you know, you made some good calls earlier, so <laughs> you're on it. So we're going to go three balls here. I don't think Sarah Tonkin was See, too happy this is with that call. But this is pressure. This is, where you, this is where you make the picture. In your game over there, when Jim and I were doing the radio broadcast, I continually said, your, some of your players were going first pitch in one innings, and pitcher Cam, uh, Maddie Scott gets out of it with about six pitches. I know. You know. Yep. That's that's not what you want to. You want to put more pressure back here. Yeah, absolutely. In the middle. Make the pitcher throw to you, um, especially in this situation where Millie's throwing a lot of balls. Um, just make her make her come to you. That's and fine. And there's the strike. You got three, oh. <laughs> three and one. It looked to be uh, right in yeah. the zone, didn't it? Um, <laughs> not according to Ella. I don't think that was uh, too no. much confusion there. That was, yeah. a, that was a pretty solid strike. <laughs> oh, nice pitch here out to right field. And it settles underneath that one for the first out. A good so. piece of the ball again, wasn't it? Good for piece. a young player. She's yeah. going, yep, and the flies out to right again. So, um, Oh, we're gonna have a pitching change here. So, Coach Morgan Young calls timeout and is bringing in Zolly Adams for Millie Fidge here. So, like we said before, they have the pitchers, use yeah. them. So, yeah. we're on to the third pitcher of the game for start, but it's important here. Um, keep the batters off balance, show them a different look, and um, Millie didn't, wasn't quite settled in there today, I don't think, so I think it was a good thing. Um, she did her job, she, you know, she held them, she did well, but, um, now we're going to see another great, excellent young player uh, and pitcher, Zali Adams, here. So, so Zali threw against Walkerville. We had back to back Sturt. So, we played um, Sturt a Saturday and a Thursday, back to back, and we saw Zali throw and Millie. Um, and they're just, uh, for such young pitchers, they're yep. so much talent there. Great future, great future, both girls. Absolutely. And there's plenty of others out there, young people, to join them in yes. the future, you know, as the years go by. So, uh, let's say runner on first, one out here. Um, I think that was a good timing for a pitching change, too. Um, Millie using her defense there on that last one. So, uh, it's going to happen for Port in this innings if it's going to happen. Yep, we're on to... Past the mark where we Almost can play another Almost at that innings. 90 minute yep. mark here. So huge inning right here. Um, you got a runner on, you got the lead off on base and you got to execute here for for Port. Down one. Um, so let's see how this goes. 
she's behind two and out here, but I think she's just settling in. Yeah, yeah. Um, you still go, you still go, you still take two pictures here. Yeah. You know, because she's she's coming fresh, been sitting. Yep. That's three. Three out. Yeah. Now I take two. I take two pictures. Yep. Just shoulder arms and don't worry about it. Yep. And then guess what they'll do with her? They'll walk her. <laughs> Not intentionally, but they'll have that's a Vicky. Ball. And that's ball four. So big moment here for Port. Um, you got Vicky, another one of the best, another real good yeah, hitter yeah. in the league, and well, quick hands. And what's happening? Well, this oh, is what runner. this is what uh, Sarah's coming out saying. What we'll do, I'll call outside. Yep. Do not let her swing the bat at the ball. Yep. And you see Bell again. Bell White does an excellent job commanding the field out there. And you got a younger pitcher out there. She was talking the whole time to Millie, talking the whole time to Jazz. And uh, same thing now with Zolly. Uh, just walking, walking them through, telling them to settle a little bit. Mm. And um, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Well. Play the percentages, do not let Vicky hit. <laughs> That's, you're asking for trouble because Talia George got a great line drive back to Millie. Yes, she and did. And she's batting next, so. So, first pitch right. strike, Dolly's come right back here. She means business. So, I will say that pitch might have been a little up <laughs> since Vicky did hit that last one pretty, pretty well to center. You see Maddie uh, Cameron out in center field's pretty deep. Outfield's back. Hop up and foul territory. So Vicky's being aggressive, swinging here, but she's behind 0-2. So the big thing here for such a young pitcher here is uh, she's got to <laughs> she's got to be smart here. You got 0-2 with a big hitter. You can't throw anything too good here. And that was pretty close. Vicky fouls that one off straight back as well. So you can see that outfield's back. Maddie's. Pretty close to the fence, so she got burnt last time over her head. So um, it looks like Taylor Schillingworth come in the run at first base, replacing Charlize. Good pitch there by Zolly Adams. Like I said, she doesn't. You don't want to throw anything too good with an 0-2 count or 1-2 count. So um, good pitch there. As long as she, I would say keep it low here. You got to keep it low on on Vicky. And she goes rise ball, pass ball gets away from Tonkin. And the runners are now in scoring position, so that's it's tough here for support. One this out. Is, this is real pressure. This is real pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh. One out, runner. In